is an assumption that people only react to foodie beauty because they are haters. But is this true? Is it possible to react to another creator without being hateful? To be hateful is to be obnoxious, odious and offensive. The three people I cover in this video are none of these things, in my opinion. I don't want to do that. She just wants to go live when she's bored. I'd also like to point out this filter image from yesterday against how she is today and probably just serves to show how disillusioned she is. Someone cites that the second food haul yesterday came from a food bank and Chantal dismisses this, but says that it wouldn't be an issue if it had, which to be fair, it would be an issue because Chantal, you were sitting there taking resources for someone that needs food while purchasing mass quantities of junk to eat them for income. Sadly, this is a very important and valid point to make. There are many people in today's world who rely on food banks to feed not only them, but their families. It's a crock pot. She said she's tired and she is always tired. I've never seen a video where she doesn't complain about being tired. It's almost like she doesn't know what to complain about. So tired just comes up. She said she cleaned all day. There's one bathroom left, which means she only cleaned one bathroom. She tries to create a tension and an excitement about the meal she cooks, but later divulges it was butter, chicken, and naan. She says that she has no need for takeout now that she's cooking. But Three, two, one, action. <laughs> Enjoy your milk. Thanks, babe. Hi, Holly! That was a pitch. Um, she always has to have Salah there just to show, look how supportive he is of me eating all this food. No, there's no problems here. There might not be problems there. He's got his own reasons for being there, but you've got to prove it to the haters. Oh my gosh, I was craving Chinese takeaway, I was. I see that. Uh, that is a lot of food. I know this is not a shock, but you've got at least two full meals there. Quite big spring rolls, but they could be a side dish. But I always wonder, and I know the answer is because it's foodie, but... Why doesn't she just order one meal? If she has got a craving, if cravings cannot be denied, then just order one, man. She's got a ton of food in the house because she made that beef her only swap the other day, or yesterday, who even knows on her timeline. But she's got more than enough food in the house. Part of Foodie's problem is that she seems to have a very poor memory. Maybe it's because she filmed so much of her life that she actually forgets what she's already shared and then contradicts herself. Um, so here it is. Never had from this place before, but uh, yeah, this is Mila. And am I gonna eat this whole big meal for 85 people? Yes, I am. Every freaking last crumb. Defensive and a little bit sensitive there, my dear. I'm not even going to leave a crumb big enough for a mouse. We all have that expectation, my love. Don't worry, we weren't laboring under any false pretenses. Sweet and sour souls. Cost 5kd. God, nearly $20. I mean, I know she's got a fair amount of food there, but you just spent 250 in the grocery store. So hungry. This food took forever. I better be good or I'm going to complain like a Karen. I could believe it. Here we go. It's going to be exactly what it looks like. Bye. Which she's going to be really happy with, so. This is your host, Foodie Beauty. Oh my gosh, everyone's talking about Amberlynn's breakup? Um, as far as her and wifey breaking up, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks for nothing! Is this video for sailing and entertainment purposes only? You're dang skippy it is! Here's Ramona! Noted. Guys, do you know Foodie Beauty? 
Why are you walking away so fast? You're walking in uniform. Bring, bring. <laughs> What's wrong with Korean Kaboom? Korean Kaboom. Shut up. She's a nice lady. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Stay mad. Her and her husband want to travel. They are so in love. They're so, so, so in love. And they're going to be traveling together. If you guys are going to be traveling together, why are you going to Disney World or Disneyland by yourself? My personal opinion, this is a fake marriage. I don't care what anybody says. Your husband doesn't look happy. He looked a lot happier when you first met him. He looks miserable all the time. You can see the transformation that he has undergone, in my opinion, where I am telling you that he doesn't look happy anymore. You cannot fake happiness on camera. And I don't think he's trying to. I think she's going alone because it's not the relationship that she is presenting it to be. She did this before with BB. If anybody used to watch her when she had a boyfriend named BB, she continuously pretended that they were happy where you could see that the man was unhappy. The man used to go to work. She used to sit with her cats, you know, do mukbangs, do nothing. And then pretend like they would go on date nights. It was all BS. He wasn't happy with you. And neither is this guy. The reason that I know that is because I can see people's demeanor their vibes are off. You're going alone because he doesn't want to go with you. And if there's some other ridiculous reason that you make up of why he can't go, his work, whatever, I don't believe it. I still see no lies detected here. I'm telling you. You compare how happy this guy seemed, Salah, in the beginning till now. Now, after this, Okay, she did this live stream where she went on the beach with him and she showed her body. She hasn't been showing her body in a long time. The people in the foodie booty community made a lot of videos on that. Okay, uh, what the majority of people talked about was how foodie beauty Chantal was visibly unhappy and upset at the beach. It was very hot and she was wearing a lot of layers and she was saying that she is dizzy. She doesn't feel well right okay that is what people spoke about then foodie beauty didn't upload any videos or do any lives for a few days which brings us current to now this deleted community page post i think that although some people made comments that were you know about her body which i don't talk about stuff like that i don't care um i talk about people's character whatever so but my opinion is the reason that she did that at the beach was to get a lot of attention because that's what she thrives on because she clearly is not getting it at home and she never did that's my opinion so let's take a deeper dive into why some people may react to foodie People have been complaining about her eating noises recently. They have just taken a leap in uh, the volume and frequency. I think. But, there's a but I think the majority of the people really were commenting about how uncomfortable and sick you were at the beach, which should give you pause, Chantal. You should be careful in the sun like that, and you should be worried that you're dizzy just walking onto a beach. And don't argue that they have lives because FFG is resorting to making fun of how my husband's foot moves. Saw that on your mom. I don't think I would ever watch these um, people directly. Of course you would watch FFG directly. You do. You are no different than Amble and Reed, your supposed new bestie. You guys, on purpose, like you both think that you're smarter than your audience. You're not. 
Okay. You're going around saying that you don't watch reaction channels and you watch it on somebody else's channel, but there is no way for you to know every single thing that every reactor is doing. If you didn't watch them, of course you are. You're obsessed with reaction channels like Amberlynn Reed. Quite frankly, I think it's because you have nothing else going on in your life for you to say that people that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars, like FFG has nothing else going on. If I was making hundreds of thousands of dollars, like FFG, I would be talking about your every move too. Think about it. You sit at home, you make a hundred thousand dollars. Um, sounds like a good deal to me. Hello. It's not that she doesn't have a life. It's not that she's making one for herself with the money she gets talking about you. Common sense. She said she feels like people just want to see her living her life. Now she closes this out very importantly by talking about Julian. Now she said Before Foodie left Canada for Kuwait, she had two cats both of which she gave away before travelling. Both cats needed veterinary care and one cat in particular had her treatment paid for by another creator. The new owner of the cat shared veterinary records which showed that the cat was in fact neglected. This information earned Foodie the name Cat Abuser. She would film herself in Kuwait walking amongst stray cats and before too long she introduced Julia to her audience. People were understandably upset about this new addition. This is when this is the same thing as when she went on TikTok, pretended she loved her cats after leaving BBJ alone to pretty much uh, lose her life. Uh, you know, pretty much what you did to the cats is unprecedented. It's it's just I'm I'm not gonna get started on that. Now she says Here's Julia is going to get her vaccines soon so that she can get fixed. He says that the heat is over based on the shots that you took, but they just haven't had the time to go schedule everything. They're going to get the vaccine done and she's heard a difference in time frames between six to 10 months as far as when this needs to be done for the cat. But she did say the shot they gave the cat ended her heat cycle. I don't know how much truth there is to that. I would think that the cat right now should be priority number one. It clearly isn't. I don't know why the cat isn't at least scheduled to have the appointment to get fixed. The fact that she's openly saying these things aren't happening, I think tucked even at the end of the stream, are only going to frustrate the community, which is continually called for her taking proper care for animals that she had to have them. And to that point, at the end of this video, Beezers actually, as always, offer to donate money so that Julia can have this done. She says that it's not needed, but she is going to do it soon. And I hope of all the things, she gets held accountable to this. Throughout her time on YouTube, Foodie has managed to insult and mock every faction and community in our society without any repercussions or accountability. As she eats her way through life, both on and offline, she has garnered much attention from other creators. People offered in the past and now current day to give her money to take proper care of her animals. In the past, she has not done that in light of eating, beezing, whatever the case may be. So the fact that people now are offering to pay for this cat to be taken care of, she needs to take the initiative to make sure this cat does not suffer any longer or ever again in her care. She has no excuse. They were willing to write her a check today to pay for the animal to have the surgery, and she is deferring it for whatever reason. We can say it's her finances. We can say it's his finances. We can say it's not till the 21st. doesn't matter anymore because the community offered to take care of the animal. Chantel refused. It is now 100% her responsibility to get this cat properly seen and cared for immediately. Community page post. One of the points that she's trying to make is, in her opinion, as she's making statements about FFG's looks, and she's also made statements about her own looks before. Foodie Beauty thinks she's the most beautiful woman on YouTube. Of course you are. Here's the thing. I don't understand why we have to resort to discussing people's looks when we could discuss people's lack of kermits, but mainly lack of character. What is wrong? What is wrong in your life that you come on YouTube and you talk about people's looks? Why? Aren't you in a marvelous, riveting relationship with your husband? 
Honestly, who cares what people look like? If they're talking about your looks, you don't have to talk about their looks. You can just ignore them. And ultimately, my advice, if you talk about people's looks, uh, get ready to have your channel deleted because it is straight out in the terms of service. You're not allowed to do that. But I'm sitting here eating, so I'm guessing you haven't taken a bat to the vet. What's happening with that then? All right, no further news. Okay. I mean, it served its purpose. People watched and spoke about it, which is all she really wanted. She doesn't actually care about the cat. Vegetable spring rolls, sweet and sour chicken, and vegetable udon. And yes, I'm still quite sick, so... So this is clearly going to make her feel better. And now Salat is quite sick. Again, because she double dipped on all the food that she then fed to him. Cameras are in her situation with like three to four hundred grand in an account somewhere, then rocking up with basically nothing but debt, which is what she'll end up doing. None of the things she currently has in place in life can be relied on in the long term. And the one thing that was keeping her kind of afloat is now diminishing. But the catch was, my life was full of toxic drama. Yeah, because you're a toxically dramatic person, it will come again. And if for some reason you had the chance to avoid it, you would forcibly hurl yourself into some toxic drama to get the views. So it's entirely your choices. We don't see food in this video until two minutes and 30 seconds, where we see chicken livers. And we also see chicken breasts, which, by the way, is the only breast seller once in that house. Our chef continues to make things by assembling prepackaged foods, gets pre-made French fries. Now, she also does get potatoes, but frozen vegetables, frozen pizzas, candies, coffee, you know, despite saying she wasn't going to have the three-in-one anymore because of the calorie content, she just got another brand. Instead... She puts out two videos in less than 24 hours, which is going to impact her notifications through YouTube. She puts out a video that doesn't have content begin until third of the way through, quarter of the way through, which is going to push viewers away. And these viewers are intelligent. They know what she's doing. If she's got a VIB that's going to watch everything, they're going to watch her do anything. But to the people she wants to bring into her channel and onboard them, they're not going to sit through and watch this easily one of my most well-received videos ever i try to give chantal a lot of helpful criticism without being overly harsh and this was a very odd video for that to be followed up with i just want to say we start with a halloween intro and chantal i've seen you use your religion as a shield that people are shaming you from it if you're going to do that, then you have to follow through with the guidelines of that religion, which do not allow you to celebrate Halloween. So to you, this may be cute. To you, this may be glamorizing one of your favorite holidays, but you also glamorized this revert that you went through to the point you were showing yourself going through the process of accepting this religion again, yet you're not holding true to it. Foodie has upset many people, especially Muslims, by her behaviour since becoming one. People have been appalled by her lack of respect for her new religion, so have questioned the validity of her claims of reverting to Islam. And she thinks that that makes her a religious person. It doesn't make you a good religious person if you make fun of people's looks. A person that is believing in God, like you claim you are, is not going to put other people down based on their looks. And I understand that other people put her down. I get that. The right thing to do in this situation, since you are so religious and pious, Chantal, is to say, you know what? These people may have things to say about me, but I'm going to live a better life and I'm not going to respond. At the end of the day, all of your content is against community guidelines. It is. That's why it's all deleted. The rural world is commenting and on public figures like you and Anne Boleyn. If you guys don't want people to comment on you, please stop being public figures, delete your channel and leave.
it's very much a working country. And that's not to say there aren't advantages and things to see in every country. But one of the reasons she's struggling to make things interesting is there isn't that much to see. Plan another travel, inshallah. Oh, things I don't need to see. I was worried about the whipped cream. I think, I think things happen for a reason. Right. And if something doesn't work out, I think it's for your own protection. Well, that seems a really convenient way to not take responsibility for anything in your life, doesn't it? Well, it didn't work. Not because I didn't put in the effort or didn't follow the instructions or didn't make an effort or didn't do something else. Not because I failed in some way, but because it wasn't meant to be. Hi! My sweet baby girl. Who I'm guessing has still not been to the vet because you're both still feeling ill. Garlic sauce. Now, I don't know much about this food, including how to pronounce it, but you learn none of it from watching Chantal. She really doesn't talk about what the food is, what it's made of, why it's prepared this way, why it's packaged this way. It's almost like she just pronounces it to the best of her abilities and then devours it. She says that they've had a super busy day and it's taken a lot of their time to go out and do these things so they weren't able to get groceries. They got home so late they had no other option but to order takeout. And to be honest, if that's really the case, I don't understand why she just doesn't get a crock pot or something similar. I mean, listen, she doesn't have a job. She doesn't really have any true responsibilities. All these complaints boil down to her time management and she uses the lack of that time management to rationalize getting all this takeout. And it's strange to me that she has to verbalize this in any facet, right? She never once justified in Canada getting all this takeout. She never once said, oh, I wanted to do this, but I'm going to get a Nashville chicken sandwich instead. I'm going to order McDonald's instead. Yet here we are, and we're almost having to justify eating this food. Never did this before. She goes on to say that they're simply trying to order local using this delivery app, which I think goes hand in hand with her wanting to continue this facade of we're boycotting these places, these businesses. Guess what, Chantal? When you order takeout, you don't know where that restaurant is procuring their food from. Do you know that their beliefs align with yours? No. So you very well could be patronizing a restaurant that is using vendors that are against your beliefs, that you're monetizing on this platform. Food for thought, literally, food for thought. Why have we heard nothing about Julia's appointment to be fixed? What did they do today that was more important than that cat? And why are we days away from a vet trip that had to be done and there is no context as to how she's properly caring for this animal? She just eats this food as if she's trying to finish it before it gets taken from her. As I mentioned in the beginning, you really don't get any true context of the food. She actually says the kebab is just like me. Talk about you. But uh, nobody's wishing you ill will like the way you wish other people ill will. Sad people, okay, sorry to rain in your parade, but I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. As for me not being able to come to Kuwait and walk in 40 to 50 degree weather, fully dressed in many layers. You needed to go to Kuwait, in my opinion, because no one else would marry you in Canada. You were overly friendly with various different people and nobody offered marriage. There's nothing wrong with being overly friendly with various people. Thank you. But I'm just trying to say that, um, you know, nobody wanted to date you. This is the only guy that would marry you and that's why you came to Kuwait. Um, then she says the, honestly, out of all the things that she has said, this is the stupidest thing ever. She says that people refuse to cam up. Nobody owes you DIC. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. You get my point. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you to cam up. Okay. You and Anne Boleyn have visual channels because it's the only way that you control the audience and get money. You are desperate to get money by trolling the audience. Like I said, do you understand why this is, this is all calculated from Chantal, my opinion. She didn't show you what she looks like for a long time and then showed you to get the reaction and get the money so people could watch her video more. Yes, the, a lot of reactors, first of all, there's tons of reactors that are on screen, but the ones that are not, they owe you nothing. 
whether somebody is on screen or not doesn't matter. Most people have a thought process and good things to say and basically are emotionally intelligent. And that's why they don't, whether they show themselves or not, but they don't need to show themselves in order to be successful. You and Amberlynn have visual channels. Basically, you both can't do voiceovers. If you both do voiceovers, your channels immediately die. You rely on trolling your audience and the reaction channels do not post here. And then she posted an apology, basically saying that it is against her religion to act this way. If it is against your religion to act this way, I am just trying to understand why you are acting this way. It is highly immoral and frowned upon in Islam to waste your time on those who insult you. You were always told your religious beliefs, okay, when you converted. Why do you continue to desecrate your own faith? Uh, can somebody explain that to me? Because you're fake. You have given people, any religious person, not in this religion, a bad name because of the way that you behave yourself. I will try not to retaliate against these individuals and then will allow them to waste their life being vulgar people. I will try to continue to focus my life and my relationship with God. Test your life. It's so easy to give into anger and explode and become just like them. The true test of character is never giving them the satisfaction. She claims that she is a religious and pious person. And she also claims that she's sitting around watching other reactors talk about the reaction channels. If you are seeking out, listen to what I'm going to tell you right now, Chantal. If you are seeking out content about yourself, even when somebody is sticking up for you, you've already lost the plot. And this has nothing to do with religion. This has to do with being a human being. Why would you seek out negativity about yourself? Then attack people's looks and then pretend to be a religious person. Okay, you're not a religious person. You are pretending to love God. You're pretending to do all these things because you think that somehow people will see you differently. If you want to be a good religious person, then follow your religion. Then do what you believe God would tell you to do. But here's the problem. You're not who you say you are, Chantal, because you attack reaction channels and your response is, well, they say negative things about me first. People, like I said, people have actually said negative things about me like for 10 years. Do you ever see a response? No, because truly there's no like desire to like interact and I don't care. You care so deeply that you constantly give into this. Your whole day is honestly surrounded by mukbangs that you're doing that your audience hates. Your audience dislikes these videos. I can't imagine constantly putting out content that my audience dislikes. And then you're watching content about yourself. Then you apologize for being who you really are with these ridiculous posts. Why'd you delete your post if you believe in it? It's because it could get her channel deleted, the things that she said about other people. Why are you constantly attacking people's looks? Good question. The answer is you're unhappy with yourself. My opinion, my opinion, you're unhappy in your marriage. If you were really happy in your marriage after telling us 700 times that you guys are going to go travel, why are you not both traveling to Disney World or Disneyland? I see how unhappy that man is in your videos. So if I were you, I would just stop doing videos with him because he honestly, he seems unhappy. Here's the thing. You know what? I have a problem with this and I'll let you go. I don't care about her and her husband and her marriage. Not at all. Don't care about her food. Don't care about what she looks like. That's why I don't judge it. I care about a person coming onto YouTube saying that they're a religious, pious person, trashing people's looks, attacking people, and then saying that they're a believer of God and they're this pious religious person and repeat the process. Everyone makes mistakes, but she does this all the time. She trashes people. And then she says, oh, no, this is not who I am. Much like Anne Boleyn, this is who you are. So you would have been better off, Chantal, not even putting this video up, putting up a community post and spending the 30 minutes you probably took to film, edit and upload that video and work toward a cooking video that people might have actually stood a chance of getting past five minutes on.